right, people. Hey, let's have a look at uh, Wednesday afternoon, Birmingham, Alabama. On 65 North, cutting right through Birmingham. Remember, I got this load of what they call flake. It goes up to Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'll get it delivered in the morning. At this point, I've only got uh, a couple of hours on my clock. I've got a loves picked out. Up the road in North Alabama here in a while. I'm gonna stop getting fuel and try to get a spot to park. Just giving you a shot of Birmingham. Well, most of the city is off to the right now so I guess that's it all right everybody hey welcome to Thursday morning it's about 550 we're approaching Nashville Tennessee still about an hour from my destination in Bowling Green Kentucky I'll give you a shot of Nashville. We're just moving off. Woo, that sun is bright. It's amazing how bright the sun is at this point. Um, Scoot over, fella. Yeah, I mean, it's 10 till 6, and uh, the sun's already. Nice and shiny. So we've got to take a little jaunt here on I-40 East for a little bit before we convert back over to 65. So I stopped last night. Uh, I'm not even sure what the name of that town was. I, I was still in Alabama when I stopped. Got up this morning and headed out about 3.30. Don't know what's after this. I've not talked to dispatch. Got this load of uh, flake. Uh, picked up yesterday after I delivered in Loxley, Alabama, if you remember. Nissan Stadium over to the left, downtown Nashville. All right, more later. All right, everybody. We just turned on to Mitch McConnell Way. He must have done something to get some funding to build this industrial area or something weird like that. To get a road named after. Anyway, uh, the place we're looking for is uh, a little, a little further down the road here. I've been to this place two or three times before, but it's been many months. I've delivered here a couple times, and I've even picked up here as a Maverick driver a few years back. That's it straight ahead, that tan colored building. It's called Owl's Head. That's what's uh, up there on the side of the building. All right, so let's get in here and see if we can get unloaded. Owl's Head Alloys, it called, it's, it's called. All right, it says they're on CB28. So let's see if I can get checked in here. 
I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm on the scale. I'm waiting for a green light. I didn't answer the CB, but she did talk to me on the loudspeaker out here on the building. Uh, they want you just to stay in your truck while you're on the scale, and then when I get a green light, pull forward. There's the green light. Pull forward where those other two uh, dry vans are, and then walk back to the scale house. So, that's what we're going to do. And, uh, it says do not block parking lot, so I'll just have to kind of pull. This guy's moving, so I'll just park where he is. All right, so, uh, I'll go ahead and get my tarp off probably move my mud flaps while I'm sitting here let me go walk back to the office okay so I walked back there and checked in took a few minutes she gave me a form like this I guess the loader or unloader will have to sign off on I've got my tarp rolled back the mud flaps hung up I'm ready just my instructions are to wait here for an unloader to guide me back to the dump site so, uh, you know, I've been sitting here about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. So, um, what I remember about this place in the past is, you know, we kind of drive through there between the buildings and around back. Um, not sure though, I've never delivered this product. And let me show you, there's, uh, you see all those aluminum ingots over there? That's what I picked up as a Maverick flat better. Kind of tough securement load. And then once we're done, we'll come out of here and exit out to the right side of the building. And then they've got a little small holding lot out there past the gate. You're supposed to park in and then walk back to the scale house and get your paperwork and all. So that's what we're doing. Look at that flame burner underneath uh, that building there, inside the building, melting stuff down. All right, I'll try to show you some unload. All right, guys, so an unloader just pulled up beside me and uh, looked at my paperwork, signed it, and told me to follow him. He's coming up beside me now. So let's do that. Got myself on yard move. They got about four or five trucks, mostly dry vans, waiting back there. A lot of uh, front end loader and forklift traffic around here. Here's a good shot of that furnace in there. You'll get a good shot of this. I don't know what this, what this all is. All right, there's my guy right there in front of me. I think he's talking to this other driver. It gets pretty, uh, Pretty tight back here in spots. I was thinking this stuff might unload inside because it's so flaky. But uh, I see some piles back here, similar stuff. Hopefully it's not too hard to back into. I bet this is it right up here. All right. Well, 
this stuff just to my right kind of looks like what I'm hauling but he's not giving me any signals yet they say CB channel 28 but I haven't heard a single comment on CB channel 28 yet okay so he still hasn't given me any signals Maybe we're going to dump into one of these bins back here. I don't know. Oh. Okay. to line me up let me uh, let me talk to him and see what he wants me to do okay guys so here's the load he had me just pull pull right here and dump it right here he's gonna move it around but there it is it came out cleaner than I expected I had to go over it with the broom one time but it it came out real clean so I'm tarped up, door shut, butt flaps up, ready to go. Okay, so uh, all done back there. Just working my way back to the scale. Got this uh, gas truck again, making clouds. Messer gas is for life. <laughs> All right, so man, there's several trucks out here waiting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven trucks. It gets kind of crowded out here. Okay, so that's that. I need to send in my empty call. And call Manuel. Man, I don't know if I can get uh, over to the scale here. Getting crowded in here. there's the entry scale but I've got to get over here to the exit yeah there's room make a wide turn here all right so uh, as instructed well maybe we don't have to scale out there's no scale over here. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, huh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do over here. Hold on. Okay, well, those instructions were all messed up. As you can see, there's trucks coming out over here to the right. There was a turn over there. I needed to make to get to the exit scale so I've got to loop around <laughs> okay I do not remember this do not remember this at all oh all right so anyway remember this for next time making this too hard all right uh, she said make a turn by the blue dumpsters so I got to go through the whole the lot here again
glad I got in here a little earlier. All right, so this must be my turn. She said the turn by the blue dumpster. Let this guy get out of the way. All right, so when I came through here, I should have turned right here. There's no signage that I can see. They need a sign there and it points this way to the exit scale. This is where I got loaded though as a Maverick driver and picked up a load of these uh, aluminum ingots. Busy place, people driving all over. All right, so just trying to give you a shot of this. See if I can make this turn onto the scale. Okay, so now, once she gives me the green light here on the scale, I'll pull up by the yellow post up there and then walk over to the scale house and get my paper. All right, folks, so I'm trying to get out of Bowling Green here, about to hit 65 South. I'm gonna opt for the 65 to 40 to Jackson, Tennessee route versus going around the Clarksville, Tennessee way. Going the Clarksville way is a few miles shorter, but slower. So I'm gonna go for the uh, freeway method. But anyway, I called, called Manuel while I was still back there at Owl's Head. And he, he actually had already sent me my next order I hadn't seen it yet, but it's going up to Milan, Tennessee, to a recycling place, uh, Dale's Recycling. I picked up a load there a couple of weeks ago. It'll be a short trip. It's about three and a half hours from here to Milan, and uh, it'll be a load of scrap metal that'll go to uh, the new core in Memphis, which I, I've been to, you know, I go there quite often. Yeah, well, so that'll that'll be working me back towards home. So that's all good. So that'll put me getting to Milan about you know noonish. I sh uh, I don't know. It depends. I should be able to get this unloaded today. I know the the new core plant's kind of funny about when they stop unloading. Depends on the product, but. Uh, I should be able to get it delivered today, I think. Hopefully. So uh, that's what we're doing. 